Greetings and salutations to all. This is Angel. We are continuing our Let's Play of TIE Fighter Total Conversion Reimagined. And we're doing, uh, yeah, Battle 4 Mission 2 today, I believe. This will be us attacking a Narwark facility, as I recall. Incensed at the Habeen's willingness to sell their jointly developed technology to the Empire, the Narwak have defied all attempts at peaceful negotiation, broken off diplomatic relations, and have even threatened to sell this technology themselves to the Rebellion. This could lead to the Rebels upgrading their own fleet of hyperdrive-capable crafts further, negating the tactical advantages the TIE Advance would offer. We cannot let this... So, this mission, I think, is uh, kind of a clone of Battle 3 Mission 2 when we attacked the Pakuni base. Uh, you've basically got a bunch of containers and some corvettes, defending the area, and some fighters. Uh, I think one of the major differences in this one is that um, a lot of the fighters are actually not moving. They don't have, air quotes, pilots and gunboat squadron. Uh, so what's happening when you start the mission is that these, uh, these shuttles are going about and putting the uh, pilots into their uh, fighters, and the fighters will then move to engage you. Uh, so the impetus there is that you want to destroy either the shuttles or at least the fighters before they can be crewed and become a real threat to you. I think if the more you let them ha that, uh, you more you let that happen, the more a threat it is. Frigate Seamus will... But as I said in the last, uh, in that uh, particular mission uh, with the Bakuni base, I, I don't like this idea of just a bunch of floating containers. Now, I know they could have uh, added maybe a platform, because uh, in the original TIE Fighter we had really for structures were the platforms, I think. It might have been one or two others, I think. Yeah, there was the asteroid base, wasn't there? Um, but yeah, there wasn't a huge variety in structures, is what I'm sorry to say. Hopefully, and uh, clear message to the Narwhals. Yeah, in, in this case, the with the X-Wing Alliance, we have a lot more structures on offer to, to use. So in this case, we're using the manufacturing facility. And this is supposed to be a research base. Why would you do your research base on a bunch of containers? We want a proper facility here, don't we? So again, we're in our lovely TIE bomber. I think this is the last mission we fly in a TIE bomber. Yeah. That's, that this is the last mission you find a TIE bomber. Uh, now, that wasn't true in version 1.1 or 1, and it's not true in the classic campaign because the next mission you also fly a TIE bomber. Um, however, for 1.2, I changed that and I'll, and I'll discuss that in that video. But yeah, in this one, you are in a TIE bomber. Um, this can be a bit of a tricky mission because you are immediately engaged by some Y wings. So I'm just kind of holding back here with my friends just to make sure they can support us. And yeah, there you go, got a couple of wire wings going for me. These two are kind of, I think, quite high-skilled AI, so you have to deal with them quickly. Now, the Seamus will be attacked uh, by torpedoes again, but again, you, like the last mission, you don't have to babysit it and whoop, get out of the way. Uh, you've got my, my buddies are on it. They're all missing, but they're on it. But yeah, um, you don't have to babysit the chamber, so you don't need to worry about that being destroyed in this mission. Even though it's a con uh, prevent condition. Uh, there are bonus uh, points awarded for inspecting some of the freighters here if you can get to them. But I think a lot of the time, by the time you get to them, they're already dead. But here's the thing, you see, it's already inspected, even though I didn't get in range. Because if your friendlies get close enough, they award you the inspection goal. It's a little crappy if you ask me, but that, that's just how the game works. Well, let's see if my uh, dumb fire torpedoes are going to hit. I, actually, I think it already died before that happened. I think they were on target, though. Let's try the other Corvette. Is it shooting at me? No, okay. Should be fine. Let's see. Oh yeah. Report 
I've also added uh, a few more convoy types, uh, ship types in this. So we've got the Saprosa uh, freighter there, and uh, I think that was a Mogquet transport as well. And there's still a bunch of containers floating about, which is fine for this kind of facility. The facility itself is unarmed, but there are a couple of... You might notice there, there's a, there's a gun platform. These things are damned lethal. Um, they're just filled with Starfighter lasers, but they are very weak. A few shots and they're dead, so if you're quick about it, um, it's fine. But even in a shielded craft, if that concentrates all its fire on you, you're dead in three or four seconds. And there you can see a shuttle there trying to get a, a, a pilot, air quotes, on board a fighter. Unsuccessfully. Their shields are up. Report on primary target. They have been destroyed. Just land some shots in this guy. That gun bloke was flying inside the... in between the model there. Probably end up crashing into it. And, uh, and it's dead. Now, I think, again, like the uh, Pakuni mission, you have to inspect these containers. And... That... Huh, I think that was a bug there, because there was no cargo, and it automatically finished the inspection. Okay, I'll have to look at that one. But in any case, uh, like the Pakuni mission, you have to inspect the containers looking for, for rebels. But unlike that mission, you don't have to wait for it to be captured, because I think in this case, Zaren's not particularly interested in taking prisoners, he just wants you to blow it all up. Destroyed a friendly craft, probably from uh, explosion splash damage there. Might have mentioned it before, but uh, if you destroy a craft, uh, or certainly a large object, and because of explosion splash damage, if a friendly craft gets too close, because you were the one who destroyed it, it's your fault that the explosion splash damage caused some damage or killed your friendly. Because of course it is. That makes sense. Area is clear. So you're back to the Seamus. You can see there the Corvettes flanking the frigate as well. Hey, we've ranked up again. Serve the Emperor above all others. Now it looks like I've got a, a scythe, which is cool. Reap for myself some rebels. Fourth circle. Now, in reimagined, the uh, Secret Order ranks only go up to sixth level, sixth circle, when there are actually nine ranks, but because the reimagined campaign is not finished yet, uh, I've limited the ranks to the first six, and the last three can be earned once, that's, uh, once those reimagined campaigns are done. In the classic, though, you can go all the way to the, the last rank. Ah, new messages. Still no new memorabilia, that plant's not one. Someone wants to play Sabak with me. Uh, moof milker. I, I've never heard the term nerf herder, yes, but moof milker? Okay, whatever. Anyway, that was uh, Battle 4 Mission 2. Join me again for the next mission, Battle 4, Mission 3, which uh, is us taking down a 
hell of a load of Y-Wings. So until then, good hunting. Mm-hmm.